Hello and welcome. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. And today I am going to show you all of my tips, tricks, and secrets that I use to share the YouTube video to Facebook, to numerous pages, groups, and also in your news feed or story. So stay tuned. Let's jump in. Very important to be aware of all of the different areas and different programs, apps, and extensions that you can use in order for you to be able to share not just your YouTube video, but to also share your other links, your uh, your website links, or anything that you create can be shared and this is how you would create your organic traffic when you are sharing to Facebook you would then click into your the Facebook icon this is the way that you will create your organic traffic using Facebook To share to the news feed or story, you would just click on share to news feed or story. This will be the top showing. This will be showing on the top with the downward arrow. This is a description that I have created especially for sharing to all of my Facebook pages and my Facebook groups. Here I have my branding for the YouTube channel. I also have uh, my link for my product that I am talking about in this video. I have a description that is keyword optimized and I also have hashtags that I am using for my in my description. I have my disclaimer which is very important. That lets people know that there are affiliate or referral links in this post. And I have other hashtags. I have a link that I created at Pretty Links that I will also use in my description just by adding a read more and the link. You would then copy the information and where it says say something about this you would place your cursor, do a right click on your mouse, and paste. Choose your news feed or your story, or both, since I've already clicked on, I've already shared to my story, I'm going to share it to my news feed. I will immediately be taken right back to my pop-up box where I can click into my Facebook again. You will see the post to Facebook on the tab. And you will see your box that says share to news feeder story and here a downward arrow you would just click into the downward 
here you can share on a friend's timeline. Type in your friend's name. And copy your whole description. Paste your whole description in and choose post to Facebook. You will see your pop-up box come up again. You will then see post to Facebook on your tab. You would then click in your downward arrow And here you can post on another friend's timeline or you can share in a group. How many Facebook groups do you belong to that you can post in? How many Facebook groups have you created? You will just type in the group name. You will start typing in the group name and Facebook will start populating and uploading names of groups you're allowed to post in. You will then, where it says say something about this, do a right click of your mouse and paste. You can also use the tag people in your post. Start typing in the person's name. And this person would then be tagged in your post. You will see a box pop up here. You will notice the post to Facebook on your tab. The box will say share to newsfeed or story and you will click on this a downward arrow. Share in a group and you would start typing in the group's name. Where it says say something about this, you would do a right click on your because you've already copied your description. Put your description in. You could tag friends if you wanted to. You could also check in if you wanted to, or you could use a feeling emoji. And then you would click to post to Facebook. And here you could go back into Facebook see the box choose the downward arrow and you could share in another group that you are an admin of or that you are able to post in, you could share in an event. Here you would type in the event name and Facebook would start populating the advents and you would choose the advent 
that you are sharing in. You could share on a page you manage. And here you will see another pop-up box come up with the downward arrow and you can click into the downward arrow and here you will see all of your Facebook pages that you have created and that you are an administrator of. You would just click into the page of your choice and here you will notice another pop-up box that will give you a choice to post as the admin of the page or to post as yourself and your profile. Your choice is the admin of the page or to post as yourself. And since you've already have the information that you've copied from your notepad, it is still attached to your cursor. You would do a right click and paste your information in. And you could tag friends, check in, or make a feeling activity. The same as you did for your group. And this will help to create more engagement add your own and then type in what you are listening to and choose post to Facebook You will see the pop-up box come up again. Click into the icon. You will see post to Facebook. And when you click in the downward arrow, you wait until you see this pop-up box come up choose the downward arrow and choose another one of your pages where it says say something about this right click and paste post to Facebook. The last one we are going to go into Facebook again. And do you see how this is creating your organic traffic? Do you see how every time you post to any one of your pages, um, any group that you are allowed to post into, that more people are seeing your information? And the last place is you can share in a private message. And then you would type in the names of the people that you would like to share to. You will see them come up and type in as many names as you would like to share in a private message to and click here where it says say something about this right click and paste
lifespan audiobook on Audible. And then send message. So now I'm going over to my Facebook. Here is the Facebook post. And here you could see I have the where I've doing the interaction with the listening to and here is my link to for people to go to audible and here anytime they click into a hashtag that I've put in my post or a hyperlink that I've put in my post, this will take them to another area. For example, when I click into a the hashtag audible app, It says people are posting about this under Audible app and you will see the people that are posting. Now this is very important. It's very important that you, number one, like this post and number two, that you make a comment. Number three, after you make a comment, to click on the reply and then so now what you've done is you have created engagement and you've also created a link back to your YouTube. Now for the people who have Tailwind, and if you don't have Tailwind, I'll leave it in the description, but when you have Tailwind, you will see this schedule come up. And you just click into where it says schedule you will see this pop-up box come up for Tailwind. Tailwind is a free app that you can get a browser extension for and you can also use on your computer and you can use on your mobile phone. And it helps you to share to Instagram and Pinterest and also it integrates with Facebook. We have now your YouTube video and also you can use more hashtags. Oh, by clicking into the hashtags, choosing a hashtag to begin with, You can also use your hashtags that you already have put together for your description. And then choose schedule now. Choose click into your post. This is still in your draft, but it is scheduled. 
and here you want to add your smart bio link and if you don't have a smart bio link and you want to get a smart bio link a smart bio link is free with your tailwind whether you have a paid tailwind or not the smart bio link is free so I am just going to get my information I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to en enter this bio link and then choose enter and uh, add a call to action you will see a pop-up box come up call to action and you need to customize your call to action each time you add a call to action because it will copy the first call to action uh, that you had from before so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna get my link to audible which is right here and copy that go back and add it Make sure, <clears throat> make sure you are in your box and then just paste your link right here where it says edit your caption and then choose save. I can amplify with Pinterest. Choose a board. Set pin destination. And here I can also share to a Facebook page. So I want to share to a page that I haven't shared with yet. Update Facebook page post. It will go out today at 10.31. now 9.52 I can create a custom time if I want or I could choose one of these times 53 I will make it 9.55 and set custom time save and close and here you see that this is my YouTube video and it will be shared to my Instagram to my Pinterest and to the Facebook of my choice I'm just gonna close this for now one more thing that I would like to show you is when you do have the Tailwind extension and whether you have a paid account with Tailwind or paid account with Tailwind you can get the Tailwind extension when I click into my Tailwind extension I'm here at Facebook I can see all of my posts and then I can choose the ones that I want by clicking into them, selecting my images as I select them. And the images are appearing here. And then I would just click go to schedule and do the exact same thing that I just did with that one post. And I also have step-by-step -step video tutorials in which I will leave in the description to show you how you can use Tailwind. There's uh, just one more thing that I would like to add. When you create, I call it the hyperlinks for all social media outlets for the DIY marketing on YouTube, which is like links or URLs for social media. 
every link here is for a social media platform. This is for Medium. Uh, this is for YouTube. This is for Pinterest. This is for LinkedIn. This is for Twitter. This is for Tumblr. For VK. For my graph book. My smart bio link. And the Facebook groups and websites that I have. All of these are used for social media and to be able to share your one creation which is when you're on YouTube it will be your YouTube video if you are on Facebook or Twitter or any other social media platforms this can all be shared to every one of these social media platforms if you have found this video helpful then please give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel consider subscribing to my channel as I try to keep my channel relevant and up-to-date stay safe have a wonderful evening